Next on Wood Songs, they're considered one of the top bluegrass artists in America, the award-winning duo of Darren and Brooke Aldridge. Plus slide guitarist Christina Vane. Sometimes I'm too tired to sing at all. Sometimes I lose, sometimes I win. I'm gonna make my Wood Songs is made possible by Visit Lex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky. The Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. The Deering Banjo Company, providing American-made banjos for front porch pickers and professionals online at DeeringBanjos.com. And by Fransky String Instruments of Prairie Village, Kansas, online at MFStrings.com. Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moore. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hucker, Michael Jonathan. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hill Sketch the trees and daffodil Catch the breeze and winter chill in colors on the snowy linen land Oh, now I understand What you tried to say to me How you struggled for your sanity and How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Starry, starry night Flaming flowers brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue And colors changing hue Morning fields of amber grain Weathered faces lined in pain are soothed beneath this artist's loving hand Oh, now I understand What you tried to say to me How you struggled for your sanity How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how For they could not love you And still your love was true And when no hope was left in sight On that starry, starry night You took your life as lovers often do Oh, but I could have told you, Vincent This world was meant for none else Starry, starry night Portraits hung in empty holes Frameless heads on nameless walls 
With eyes that watch the world and can't forget all those strangers that you've met. All the ragged men in ragged clothes, the silver thorns of bloody roads, like crushed and broken on the virgin snow. And now I think I know what you tried to say to me, how you struggle for your sanity, how you tried to set them free. They would not listen, they're not listening still. Perhaps they never will. Welcome, everybody, to the beautiful and the historic Lyric Theater here in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, broadcasting all over the world from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona to the Yukon in northern Canada, all over the world, celebrating this beautiful, wonderful world of front porch music. Kentucky is the grand rocking chair of America's front porch, and we do celebrate it worldwide. Artists ever come from everywhere to be on our show. We say it every week. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very good. We have an amazing slide guitarist and banjo player to introduce to you, and an incredible Wood Songs kid. He's 12 years old on this broadcast. You're going to love him. But first up is one of the most awarded uh, bands in all of bluegrass music. We're very proud that they're here. They've got a great new album coming up. We're going to talk about that shortly. From their CD, This Life We're Living, this is a great introductory song. It's called Once in a While. Please welcome Darren and Brooke Aldridge to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour.
song is called Once in a While, one of the most successful acts in all of bluegrass, Darren and Brooke Aldridge. Uh, Darren, it's nice to have you guys here. Thanks for coming oh, back. It's always a pleasure being with you, brother. So your lovely wife, Brooke, is one of the most awarded female vocalists in all of bluegrass. The IBMA is sort of the Grammys of the bluegrass world, and you are not one, not two, not three, four times the IBMA Female Vocalist of the Year. Four times. That makes me the husband. That makes you the husband. Of the female vocalist. Mr. Brooks. <laughs> so all these awards and stuff, we're going to have to get our tools together and help you build an extra room on that double wide because you've got all these awards coming in. And it must feel, uh, Darren, it must feel good because you've been around for what, little, little, about 10 years as, yep. as an act, right? Coming up on 13 years of marriage. Thir hey, that's longer than most uh, third world countries have been around. So uh, when, you, when you met Brooke, could, were you able to uh, tell right away that this is something that, uh, besides just a, a relationship with a person who be your I wife, did, but you knew uh, that it was going to be a bluegrass thing? Our families tried to hook us up for a couple years before we met. And uh, I like to say we prayed for each other for a long time. And I was in the business with the country gentleman. And Brooke was just fixing to graduate college and been singing a lot of competitions and in church and everything. So they thought we was a good match. So when we finally heard her sing, and I got to travel a little bit with the band she was playing with in church, we, uh, we connected pretty well, didn't we? So, Brooke, you are now married to this, uh, this uh, husband of yours, and he is truly one of the, I'm not going to say unsung, because he is highly respected in the bluegrass world as a musician. He has won awards as a mentor, which we appreciate very much, <laughs> with kids and stuff. So we've asked him, if you don't mind, Ms. Brooke, oh, we, I don't mind. we've asked him to go ahead and play something solo so we could show him off a little bit. And he's going to play a tune called Hero of Mine. This is, uh, Darren, this is one that you wrote. I did. Uh, I've got to play with a lot of my mentors over the years, Doc Watson, Vince Gill, Jimmy Capps, Tony Rice, other ones, and I wrote this song about some guitar heroes of mine. Hero of mine is the song. It's Darren. It's Brooke. <laughs> it's Darren Aldrich on the Woods Songs Old Time Radio. Last night I went to see an old hero of mine. I look up to him till the end of time. Oh, how he could play and sing all those songs. I'd sit and listen to him. All night long He's helped me get through A lot of hard times I've listened to his songs To keep things off my mind I'd study his work Till I got it right But I'm still learning about The key to life well, everybody needs a hero Someone who will help you carry on When you find your strength is gone It's when your hero comes along He's been one of the good guys along the way Last true artist on the Opry stage Hit after hit, he's always stayed the same He's a hero of mine that'll never change Now when the time comes and he moves along He's gonna live on through all his songs High up there with all his kin and Sing for the master who died for all our sins Well, everybody needs a hero Someone who will help you carry on And when you find your strength is gone When your hero comes along Now I'm a young picker And I'm in my prime 
play this old guitar night after night singing songs from the heart about the promised land me and my hero and this five-piece band well everybody needs a hero somebody will help you carry on When you find your strength is gone It's when your hero comes along And when you find your strength is gone It's when your hero comes along Beautiful. Darren Aldridge solo by himself. I was so glad to hear that. I mean, you are a, a fantastic uh, guitar player. Well, thank you, sir. And uh, you started when you were a young kid, right? I was. I was probably uh, eight or nine years old, first time I strummed across the guitar. What was the family environment like for you? It was, was it grandpa and grandma and yeah, mom and dad? my grandpa played. My mom played out of harp and guitar and probably showed me the first chords on the guitar and I just took it from there. You know, we talk a lot about on, on Wood Songs about the front porch spirit in America, the front porch music and stuff. And bluegrass especially is, is a community of front porch pickers. And it's, that's, it sounds like that's how you, you grew up with it. it was, oh, yeah. Picking around the house all the time, like I said, in our family. And where I was from there in Cherryville, we had a local jam at the bomb shelter and cabin every Wednesday shelter. now. <laughs> so you can't beat that. Describe what that place was like. Was it was it? an old, uh, you know, I guess a 50s bomb shelter that we gathered in the winter time and uh, just tons of pickers from all over different parts of the county there came and in, in the summer we was outside of the, in an old cabin they had. It was Jack just a, Bingham's. a literal bomb shelter? It was. Really? <laughs> yeah, we still go. Really? It's still there? How yeah. cool is that? And, and Brooke, what was it like for you as a young girl? Music around your family a lot? Was this a big influence for you? Or? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, well, Darren and I didn't grow up in the same hometown. Um, I grew up in a town called Newland, Avery County. Um, and uh, my family sang. My mom and sister sang in church. And so that's really where I grew up singing. And then we'd go to my grandparents every Sunday, my mom's parents. And uh, we'd sit around and sing acapella mostly. I didn't really learn to play that much as a kid. I didn't take it as serious as I should have. But, um, but yeah, the it voice. It sounds like you've taken it very seriously <laughs> now. So, I mean, well, yeah, but I, you know. Deeply I'm more, admired I'm more in, the, in the global music community as you are right now. It was interesting because as you were coming up, uh, the, the singers that you admired were people like Rhonda Vincent and Alison Krauss, yeah. and now you're sort of dominating their world. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, just an honor to uh, to consider those people, you know, heroes and get to, to meet them and uh, really know that they've inspired you and get to tell them that. So. And to be respected by, by that same community that you love so much. Absolutely. We're going to introduce the entire band as we get to, through our, our hour, but they've got an album called Inner Journey. We're going to hear a song called Emmy Lou. It is Darren and Brooke Aldridge on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour.
burning at my window And it brings me to you And I won't just pass through But I'm not asking for a storm We have, a, if you want to know more about the music of Darren and Brooke Aldridge, if you want to find out more about their tour schedule and their albums, if you want to revisit the broadcast that you're hearing on the radio, you can go to the Wood Songs website, just click on the archive page. This is show number 1028. You can find out about them as well as our next artist. She is born in Italy. She grew up in England, France, and uh, elsewhere, and she's now in America, and she's an absolutely amazing musician. Let's just uh, say hello real quick to Christina Vane. Christina, it's nice to have you here. So glad to be here. Thank you. So you grew up mostly in Paris, right? And so, so, uh, and, and I read too that you like speak four languages. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that's funny to me, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, it's the banjo right uh, here that makes it funny. Right. Well, uh, you know, it depends on how much you love the banjo, I guess. So oh. now you're, you're playing. Let's describe the instrument that uh, folks are going to hear you play. It looks kind of like a guitar. Yeah, right. this is a resonator. I mean, it's it's called a dobro, but if you hear the real dobro, you know why that's a little different. It's also steel body, and mm -hmm. it's a national resophonic guitar is the, the maker. Now, most folks will play uh, the dobro kind of like Jerry Douglas and Rob Ikes. It's, it's, it's flat up with the strings going straight up in the air. You're holding it like an actual guitar. I am, yeah. I'm playing bottleneck slides, so you might see that more with some of my blues idols, you know, um, Sun House, Robert Johnson, the likes of those kind of people. Um, I will say I think it's a little easier than, uh, than flipping it on your lap, and that's why I started with the bottleneck slide when I was teaching myself, and I just kind of stuck with it ever so, since. So what we're going to hear you play, this is, a, this is an instrument that you self-taught. You didn't have, like, lessons and stuff. No, I, I had a mentor later at my, in my time at McCabe's Guitar Shop who taught me how to Travis-style pick, which, as you guys know, is from this area. But uh, the slide stuff, I, I did all by myself in my room with the help of YouTube. With the help of one of the world's <laughs> best teachers, YouTube, right? Sure. Let's go ahead and check it out. She's going to have to, she's going to do a song called Make Myself Me Again, and she's going to play it on the dobro. It's Christina Vane on the Wood Songs. Thank you so Old time much. Old-time radio. <laughs> Sleep well at night 
mistakes you made before And it's been a long, long while But I'd love to meet you now Somewhere across God's golden shore Sometimes I lose, sometimes I win I'm gonna make myself me again I'm giving up on giving in I'm gonna make myself me again Well, I wipe my weary eyes I'm cutting Sometimes I work and I don't know what it's for Gonna get some brand new wings A pretty bird that sings Cause sometimes I'm too tired to sing at all Sometimes I lose, sometimes I win I'm gonna make myself me Christina Vane on our Wood Songs broadcast. We're going to get back to more of Christina. We've got the amazing uh, Darren and Brooke Aldridge here. We've got a wonderful broadcast. Stay right where you are. The second half is coming up. And wait till you meet this week's Wood Songs kid. We will be back right after this. Rhonda Vincent. And we're the Rage. You're listening to Michael Jonathan's Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Thank you very much, Rhonda Vincent. Welcome back, everybody, to our broadcast here at the historic Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're at the foothills of the beautiful Appalachian Mountains, where we're celebrating this wonderful world of America's front porch music, but not just in America, from all over the world, literally. We're on public television, uh, coast to coast. We're on the RFD television network as well every single week. And what we really love is that we're in schools. Thousands of teachers and homeschool families get to use wood songs with lesson plans and get to introduce great artists like Darren and Brooke Aldridge and uh, Christina Vane. And that's why this time, every single week, we invite a youngster from somewhere in America to come on our broadcast. They get to sing one song, perform one song, in the presence of seasoned touring artists. We treat them as an equal, and what we thought we'd do is dip into our home state of Kentucky, very, very rich in all kinds of wonderful musicians in the western side of the state near Bowling Green. We found a 12-year-old kid that plays the fiddle, and he, lo and behold, is a national fiddle champion Let's say hello to Noah Goble. How you doing, Noah? I'm doing good. Thank you. So you're 12 years old. Yes, sir. And your sister is going to be playing guitar. She's 14, right? And how long have you been playing the fiddle? I've been playing since I was eight. Since you're eight. So, so four years. Yeah. Most people spend decades before they become a national champion. So you're at it for like 48 months, and you're a, a national champion now. So, like, do you sit around, and when your mom wants to have you do the chores, you go, Mom, I'm, I'm a national champion. I <laughs> no, necessarily I, need to do that anymore, Mom. No, you I do the chair, chores anyway, right? Yeah. So who are your mentors? Who are the fiddle players that, that made you so interested in playing the fiddle? Because it's not an easy thing to start playing at first, right? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I would say Dan Kelly would be the biggest mentor I've had. Um, he... He played for everybody from Roy Acuff to Alan Jackson, and mm -hmm. he kind of started me off into fiddle music. And How does an eight-year-old kid find out who Dan Kelly is? Well, there was a guy who started a string school of the Mark O'Connor method um, of f teaching fiddle tunes, and he was the teacher that came there. And did you start out, uh, you know, fiddle playing? A lot of bluegrass music is, is played from the heart, not notes on a page. So did you start out reading music and then going to the fiddle, or just start out right away playing from your imagination. Well, the Mark O'Connor method is actually, he wrote that to be fiddle tunes on paper. 
on paper, yeah. and that's how you started. Yes. But now you're going to show everybody what a what a 12 year old national fiddle champion can do. Right? You ready to do it? Yeah. Okay. He's going to play Black Mountain Rag. He's this week's Wood Songs kid, 12 year old Noah Goble on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio. We're going to get back to uh, uh, Darren and Brooke Aldridge here in a minute, but she is one of these world-traveling uh, type of uh, multicultural artists. She, uh, she grew up uh, literally uh, all over the world, Italy and Paris, and now she's uh, back in America. She's got a wonderful song called River Roll that she's going to play on the banjo. Let's welcome her back, Christina Vane on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Without love, I've got nothing but my 
Song is called River Roll. It's Christina Vane on our Thank broadcast. You. Beautiful banjo work. So, so going from the uh, resonator guitar, the dobro, to the to the banjo. But you started out playing the flute. <laughs> yes, actually, I identified very much with your flute player just now. Yeah. So, so how old were you when you decided? Well, <clears throat> flute ain't for me. I want to go. Oh gosh. I need you know, frets. I need frets in my life. Pretty late when I hear you guys talk about this rich especially community-based music like bluegrass and old time. I think that's why it's captured my heart so intensely now as an adult, because I didn't have that growing up. And that so. seems to be a big passion for you at this point, the, 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 the blues, the, the early sounds, you know, the Lightning Hopkins. And the yeah, well, even, yeah, even the turn of the century stuff really got me first, like the, the Blind Willie Johnson and all that good stuff from 1927. It was a good year. And, and the, the community of music, too. You mentioned, like, you were, you know, playing a lot by yourself in your room, and that's how so many musicians do start out. But, but, but music is a global community. It is, it is a, yeah. a, a family, it's a, it's a huge, massive, small community that, that gets to know each other and perform to each other, and you've kind of entered into that world, so that must be a, a nice change for you. It is. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, and then there's moments like this where I'm like, why don't I know my music better? And I'm just meeting and hearing these amazing people, and I, I, don't, I started listening to bluegrass music uh, about two years ago, three years ago, so... That's all new to me, and, and same with country music. I didn't hear Hank Williams until like 2017. Please well, don't if you need hurt a good, me, you guys, when I'm on the way out. If you, need, <laughs> if you need a good bluegrass CD, I highly recommend Darren and Brooke Aldridge to you. I'm yeah, the, you don't the, say. They're pretty good. I'm going home and being like. They're pretty good. Of course, you know now, there's a, there's a lot of people listening that are feeling that way about you. Why oh. didn't I know about her? That's Why didn't I know about Christina Vane? So let's show them what they've been missing. This is a great tong song called Small Town Nashville Blues. She's got her resonator guitar, and she's all set to go. Let's welcome her back, Christina Vane, on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour.
Nashville Blues. It's the music of Christina Vane. If you want to revisit Christina Vane's music, if you want to see this show again that you're hearing on the radio, you can go to the Wood Songs website, click on the archive page. This is show number 1028. You get to know more about Christina Vane. We welcome people from all over the world to come to Lexington, Kentucky to see a Wood Songs broadcast and these amazing artists live and in person like these guys. One of the most awarded bands in all of bluegrass music. They got a great CD called This Life We're Living. This is a tune called Die Try and let's welcome them back Darren and Brooke Aldridge to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Island Don't be a stranger if you're looking for a friend You don't have a song if you don't know how to sing You don't have a prayer if you don't know how to dream What's the use in dying if you don't die trying If you don't die trying, what's the use? What's the use in flying if you don't die flying If you don't die flying, what's the use? to get out on the floor if you want to do the dance if you don't know how to laugh well you'll never learn to cry if you don't know how to fall you'll never learn to fly what's the use in dying if you don't die trying if you don't die trying what's the use what's the use in flying if you don't die flying if you don't die flying what's the use Plan. From their CD, This Life We're Live and Die Trying, is the song Darren and Brooke Aldridge. And, and Brooke, you know, we talk a lot on Wood Songs about kids and family and community. And in your background, you, you were trained to be an elementary school teacher. Which I was, yes. Let's give props to the teachers. They <laughs> right. have a hard job. <laughs> 
So focus, uh, you know, uh, acoustic music, folk and bluegrass music, that very front porch feel that we talk about a lot, is, is very acclimated towards family music and bringing kids into the realm, isn't it? It is, absolutely. And that was really neat in my profession uh, as a teacher, you know, getting to bring that into the classroom as well, because a lot of kids sometimes don't get that at home, so. And uh, uh, Darren, of course, you, you know, you started playing when, when you were a little kid, and, and uh, you were awarded by the, M, by the IBMA a mentor of the year, which is important because that means that you were, you're paying attention to others besides just yourself. You're trying to help and support others, and that's a big part of your uh, outlook on music and, and a career, isn't it? It is. I've been teaching about 25 years, I guess, or so, and uh, just privately, and then when the Earl Scruggs Center came to Shelby, North Carolina, I got on over there starting doing classrooms and uh, a lot of different activities there with all kind of youth inside so it's been a wonderful thing their cd is called this life we're living we certainly encourage everybody to check it out this is a beautiful song called no mistakes it's darren and brooke aldridge on the wood songs old time radio <laughs> when i break instead of being I try to tell myself I won't do that again Swear I'll change then like the wind I go back and do the same thing only different Every battle scar and broken heart that has to be Is a lesson learned that I have earned cause I
Wasn't it great having Darren and Brooke Aldridge on our broadcast? Billy G on upright bass, Samantha Snyder on fiddle, Jacob Metz on dobro, and what a wonderful musician, Christina Vane. Thank you for being on our show. And this week's Wood Songs kid, 12-year-old Noah Goebel here from Kentucky. Elkton, Kentucky. Good job. We encourage everybody to really absorb this spirit, this feeling, this idea of America's front porch. Needed now more than ever, the sense of community and love and power. And this music kind of interprets all of that in such a beautiful, gentle, wonderful way. And it's important because now more than ever, Music is a vital part of human life. You know why? Because musicians are some of the greatest peacekeepers ever. They're the biggest global peacekeeping army the world has ever seen. And here's why. Because it's impossible to fight when you're listening. And artists and music get people to stop and listen. And that's really what the world needs more than anything. Henry David Thoreau said, in a world of peace and love, music would be the universal language and it was not said any better than a good Kentucky boy from Rosine. Bill Monroe said bluegrass music has made more friends than any other music in the world. And we believe in that friendship and that community. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a song farmer. We'll see you next week on the Woods Song. Old time radio. You've been listening to Woodsong's broadcast number 1028. Michael's opening song was Vincent's Starry Starry Night from the Painter album featuring the Hippie Chick String Quartet and Sharon O'Lorne Flute. Our chief engineer is Jerome Galt. Well, there's our show. I hope you had a good time. We sure had a good time making it. If you'd like to send me an email, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is michael at woodsongs.com. If you visit our website, there's a huge archive page of hundreds of past shows. While you're there, you can find out how you can become a song farmer. And speaking of the archives, here's a scene from one of those past shows now. We'll see you again next week on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you. Got my mojo working, but it just won't work on you. I wanna love you so bad, tell I don't know what to do. I'm going down to town, get me on mojo. Going down to Atlanta, get me a mojo hand. I'm gonna have all you women right under my command. Got my mojo working. Got my mojo. Got my mojo working. Got my mojo working. Got my mojo working. Got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you. Closed captioning provided by Highbridge Spring Water. Wood Songs is made possible by VisitLex.com, providing information and activities to visitors of historic Lexington, Kentucky. The Martin Guitar Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, making handcrafted acoustic guitars since 1833. The Deering Banjo Company, providing American-made banjos for front porch pickers and professionals online at DeeringBanjos.com. And by Fransky String Instruments of Prairie Village, Kansas, online at MFStrings.com.